Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games. We're playing Homeworld 2 Remastered, which is normally $35 on Steam after five and a half years since release date. It goes on sale to $3.50 during Steam sales, and that's why I'm making this video. I think it's an excellent game. I think it's worth a look if you have not played it or haven't seen it. Um, and so, yeah, that's that. That's why I'm making the video. I just wanted to... We're waiting on... Let me back up here. So, in the last episode, uh, we rescued all these... Pulsar gunship squadron complete. ...personnel transports, and we're just waiting on them to dock right now. Uh, one of them docked, and then we got scientific personnel, just a bunch of scientists, and enabled some more research. And so I just kind of wanted to uh, highlight this aspect of the game is... Here, let's, let's press escape. So we got them, and then the, narr the narrator said new research options available. So go over here to research, and we have a lot of different research options now. And so you can see what they do. Description uh, improves mothership dock. conventional drive systems. Sensor crews. Transform. And it costs 600 mothership resource sensor units. systems are now operating at full capacity. Improves mothership hull integrity, allowing it to withstand more damage. You know, just a lot of these kind of things, and they're just upgrades. And so, this is the campaign, and so when we research these upgrades, we will take them with us on to the next mission. And so you can see this is a very slow process right here, but it gives time. I've already built uh, four squadrons of corvettes. And then we got um, all the scientists on board, and I got these new research options. So... It's $800. We are bleeding money right now <laughs> because uh, we're building Pulsar gunships. So that's okay. We're going to come up here and just, we need to upgrade all of it. So. Pulsar gunship squadron complete. We'll just go ahead and spend all of our money right now. So here's a gunship. These are Corvettes. Uh, gun gunship Corvette. But, um,. This is an armor upgrade, you can see. This one's okay. an engine upgrade. Same thing down here. And we go over to the mothership. We already checked that one out. Resource collector improves resource collector armor. And so you just have all these little upgrades, which um, if you have played games before, uh, these are probably pretty familiar aspects, but I just wanted to highlight them and upgrade complete. tell you that they do exist. It's a big part of the game. So, hold please while we wait for all these transports to dock. It'll be a few minutes. Okay, thanks for holding. So, we just got another transport that docked. And this kind of uh, goes to show why it's beneficial to have all of these transports saved. Uh, we just got some elite fighter pilot pilots that they transferred from this transport to our mothership. And then immediately after that, we got these Getting elite... By bomber squadrons which is pretty cool we're starting to build up a pretty good sized fleet here i don't think we're going to keep these transport ships after our jump to the next system but upgrade complete and so we're just kind of hanging out here yeah it's taking some time we're waiting on this ship this will be the last one we have one two three four five and this will be number six and that is all of them standing by um so i'm gonna select i don't know why those squadrons are out there but I select them I press D and they will automatically dock their refuel repair whatever they got to do and then they will uh, come out here and stage themselves in an orderly fashion like the rest of the ships I built two more resource collectors done a good amount of researching and you can see how much mining we ha have left to do it's not much pretty slim pickings Actually, uh, it looks like it's all gone. Pretty cool planet. It doesn't look like it's getting any smaller, <laughs> which is to be expected. But uh, the world's the... Well, it's space, right? I think they look great. A lot of um, atmospheric effect. So it's not all pitch black. You can see light reflecting off of particles in space.
press the space button, get this tactical view, and then you can pan around the map really quickly. And so there's our two squadrons that docked. They're done now. We are out of resources to mine, so I'm going to save this last $1,200 instead of researching like I thought I would be able to. And then we're just going to wait on this ship to dock. Hold, please. Okay, and here's transport the final docked. ship is docking. Elite Corvette crews transferring. Elite Corvette squadrons launching from mothership. There they are. You can see them off in the distance. Elite Corvette squadrons. Very nice. That'll be handy. Uh, very worth the time that it took uh, to wait for all these ships to come. And in the meanwhile, I found some resources way out here, and hopefully our resource collectors can get there. Transport returning to base. We cannot allow the mothership to fall into enemy hands. Coordinate set for the Serum system. There, we will regroup our forces and mount a counteroffensive. All ships, stand by for hyperspace. Oh, okay. Maybe the transports are coming with us. Bye. Mission successful. So this is, yeah, you can see up here in the top left. Mission three. We're not going to finish this one, but we will We will get into it a little bit. Here's a cutscene. I'll just let all these play. Our home. Children of Hygara, you are beaten. This sector is now under my control. Stand down and prepare for Vega occupation. I have come to claim what is mine. Return the Second Corps, and I will spare your home world. If you didn't see the first video that I made and just generally explained the story, resist the Vega siege, but only for a limited time. There are these warp Shipyard cores that everyone's Serum after. Will allow us to rebuild our fleet. We must secure this asset before it falls to the Vega. Stand by for arrival at Serum. All right, Serum fleet staging area. Right on. So there are two cores that are secured by our race. Um, there's a third one that is unsecured, and there's a lot of fighting going on to, to get it. Look at all these ships. Vega recon elements have been identified. The shipyard is located here and is under attack. Incoming transmission. Attention, Pride of Agar. This is Captain Elohim of the shipyard Nabal. We are sustaining heavy damage and request immediate assistance. We got you. The shipyard must be defended. Oh, come on. So, <laughs> Can I have control, please? Forward resource operation. Engineering reports they are now able to build mobile refineries to help resourcing operations. Oh, dang. That'll help out a lot, actually. New so we're going to pause it. Class ships available for construction. Okay, so utility class ships will come up here and build them, I think. That's utility right there. So we have mobile refinery, which is just great. They gave us... I'm not sure if they gave us more money or if that was uh, <laughs> the fruits of the labor that was the last-ditch effort of the harvest, the harvesters, the resource collectors. I'm going to go ahead and build mobile refinery, and then we're going to send our resource collectors um, out there. So I just double-click them, selects all the ships of the same type on the screen, press H... And they'll go over there. Unpause it. Actually, no. Hang on. We're not going to unpause it quite yet. Interceptors. Good. Okay. So we have... We're going to say... We're going to split these up a little bit. Now that everything's in the same spot, it's easy and we're paused. It's all orderly and everything. So we're going to make... Group one designated. Yep. Group two. Group three. And then we're going to... So we have bombers. Okay. Good. We're actually going to do this group. 
uh, whoops, in this group are going to be, wait a second, three is over there, yeah. So these guys are going to be four. These guys are going to be five. The reason I'm doing this is because the top ones are elite. The bottom ones are just regular. We got the elite ones from waiting <laughs> just a long time for those transport vessels to dock with the mothership. And so gunships and elite gunships. Ooh. Okay, so we have five, no six. And so we're just, you know, I'm just pressing control and a number and it assigns a group designation to them. These are Pulsar gunships, right? Yeah, so. So we have five, six, and seven, and we're gonna make two smaller groups. And that's all the numbers, uh, almost. We have zero still. You can see down here, group designations and uh, which ones are full, which ones are not. So unpause. Production underway. Collection confirmed. Press space, come out to the tactical view. We're gonna come out here. And we're gonna say um, one. one copies. Strike group coordinates locked in. I'm just calling them all over here. Strike group coordinates locked in. Might not be the Strike smartest thing, but we're gonna in. do it. Strike group coordinates locked in. If nope, they did not do it. Okay. So what's this? Resources, establish a forward resource operation here. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group two reporting. Strike group, prepare for assault. Group two copies. Okay. So we'll press space again, come back to this view. Refinery complete. You know what? Let's check something out here. We're going to pause it. And let's see, because I do not want a bunch of interceptors going in there and just like getting gunned down. I, you know, you don't want your troops just, just to trickle in in a straight line. So what we're going to do is um, a claw, and we're going to have him come right here. Use a little bit of tactics. Uh, maybe. Will they do it? Let's unpause it and see if we can get this. There we go. New formation acknowledged. Okay, so they're acknowledging new formation, all that good stuff. Our resource collectors are coming back. Hopefully we'll get something going here. Uh, as far as construction and everything, research. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's just get all of it. <laughs> Everything. Okay, so this is our yeah mobile Ready. refinery. So you need to come Upgrade. way, way, way over here. And I'm sure they'll get destroyed <laughs> by enemies that are coming. So we right-click on this plane, on the, I guess the X plane, right? And then we will hold down left mouse button and bring it up to about there I guess let's see how far that is that's perfect right there destination locked in and then we're gonna come back here and uh, select all of our resource collectors where are they yeah right here complete standing by oh, we're gonna be out of money here in a second Yep, perfect. Move order confirmed. Well, frankly, this is a very enjoyable game, and now I feel like <laughs> I'm playing for myself and not for the benefit of my audience. So I'm going to call this one here. This is Homeworld 2 Remastered, part of the Homeworld Remastered collection. It's normally $35 on Steam. It goes on sale uh, whenever it does, down to $3.50. I think it's a great buy. You get, I guess, technically four games, but practically two games because it's just Homeworld 1 and 2 and then you get remastered and then normal uh, un unremastered, the non-mastered <laughs> editions of the game. So this that's it for this one. Thanks for watching out this gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, keep an eye out for really good sales on the, the Steam Winter Sale coming up soon. I put together a playlist um, of games that I think are great. I handpicked them from my library. Check out that play playlist on my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. I release content every day. Catch you in the next one.